hello and welcome to december i'm so excited so we're kicking off this vlogmas style month it's not going to be every day like last last year i can't do that again not this year anyway um but we're kicking off my version of vlogmas with my november wrap up which i slumped for the first half of the month hell i slumped for the first three weeks of the month and i managed to bring it back and i finished the month with a total of 21 books finished how i don't know but i did unfortunately dnf two books so i'm gonna quickly talk about them now the first one was hooked by emily mcintyre um i was really excited for this it's a hook peter pan retelling um and hook was giving me the ick and he's the love interest but he was giving me the ick and i just wasn't enjoying it um i got about 18 percent into it and then i just had to i noped right out of there and then this one i'm absolutely gutted about i dnf the intimacy experiment by rosie dannon i got 56 percent into it and i just was not enjoying it um i loved naomi in the first book um but i just i wasn't enjoying where the story was going there were a few things that annoyed me a little bit and i just wasn't loving that there was like religion talk um so yeah i dnf'd but of the 21 books i completed i read a total of 5789 pages which is amazing um i spent 36 and a half hours listening which i did i did a lot of audiobooks <laughs> um and i did do a, a few like ebooks as well as audiobooks and physical as well which i'm quite happy about it was quite nice a, a nice mix but i had no two stars i had one three star i had eight four stars and 12 five stars it was a really good month overall and i'm very happy with this so we're gonna just go straight in so first up we have the nightmare before christmas by tim burton this was a very quick read i love the movie this was a five star like i'm not shocked there was the illustrations in there as well as the story and it was just a really quick fun read and i really enjoyed it next we have buffy chosen ones which is by married scott and there's loads of names here um this is within the same world as the buffy and angel modern day reboot comics are but this is sort of like you're learning about previous slayers that have led up to buffy which is quite interesting um i really liked this this was a four star um and yeah it was a nice little uh addition into the world next was buffy volume three which um is by geordie belair david lopez and raul angulo um this is from beneath you this really jumped back into the story however this is a reread and I didn't realise it. I got about halfway through and I was like, this all seems very familiar. And I checked and I read this on New Year's Eve last year. Um, so yeah, I reread this. But it was a four star again. Next up, we have Card Captors Volume 3. Three. This was a four star. I love this. I am really enjoying the story. The artwork's absolutely stunning. Like, I love it so much. Next, we had my reread of Love on the Brain by Ellie Hazelwood. This is my third time reading it. And I tabbed the hell out of it. Um, it's very annotated as well. <laughs> I had such a fun time rereading this again, like properly taking it in as well. I just had such a fun time. Next, we have my reread of Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas. Um, we are so close to finishing our little reread this read of the series um for me and ash it's a reread for everyone else it's just their first time but obviously five star even though this is kale's book and i don't particularly like kale until the very end of this book um i really enjoy the story it brings so much to the series and i just love it next we have hook line and sinker by tessa bailey this oh my god <laughs> five stars now character wise i prefer hannah to piper but I'm still undecided if I prefer Fox to Brendan. 
because I love Brendan. Brendan owns my heart a little bit, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but this was a five star. The storyline itself, I think I enjoyed this one more. It's the friends to lovers trope. And I just, there's something about that trope that just hits me right in the feels every time. And yeah, I just, I loved it so much. And it was making me like actually cackle a few times. So yeah. Next. We have Barbarian Mind by Ruby Dixon. This is the fourth book in the Ice Planet Barbarian series. I got this while I was out in America. Um, this had just come out in America, like the fourth book, and I snapped that up. So, so happy. Um, but I, oh, this, I really like Harlow. I think this might be my least favourite. This was a four star and some of the others have been four stars as well. But I do think this is my least favourite so far just because some of these are really, really heavily leaning towards the pregnancy trope now, which if you've read any of the books in this series, you'll understand why. But I just, it was a little bit much for me at points. So... Yeah, that sort of brought it down a little bit for me personally. But overall, I'm still loving this series and I'm still continuing it. Next up, we had probably a bit of a shocker for me. We have Catherine of Aragon, The True Queen by Alison Weir. This is the first book in the Six Tudor Queen series. And I was a bit dubious going into this because it's historical and it's mostly, I, well, I say mostly, it's it's very much fact, but it is also fictional it's based on a true story but it, there's a lot of fiction in here as well um i feel like they've probably you researched a lot of like catherine of Aragon's diaries and stuff um but this was a really interesting read and this was a four star for me i was not expecting it i'm gonna be completely honest um but i really enjoyed this this was just such a good read and yeah i uh pleasantly surprised with this i mean it's heartbreaking like watching catherine of aragon's life go from what it did it sort of like was like yay no uh -oh. yay no uh -oh. and it was very sad um very interesting and i did actually learn some stuff that i didn't actually know already and i was like oh is this just been added in for the book no it was actual history so learning Next up, we have Given Volume 1. This was a four star. This was cute. However, I won't be continuing this series because the story felt very disjointed and I just, I was struggling to follow along with it. Like, I loved the art style. The art style was brilliant and I feel like the story would be great, but it just felt very disjointed and I wasn't a fan. So, unfortunately... Well, unfortunately, this is going, but fortunately for Tori, she's having it. Next up, we have Darth Vader Volume 1 by Kieran Gillen. This was a four star. This was amazing. I really enjoyed this. It's set sort of during the original trilogy. And it was really interesting to see a bit of Darth Vader from that side because you don't see this side in um, the movies. And it is not a redemption story at all. It's just seeing a little bit of Darth Vader's life during this time, which I like because I think he's an interesting character. Um, so, yeah. Next up, we have Beyond the Wand by Tom Felton. This was a five star. Oh, my God, this was incredible. I could listen to Tom Felton talk for years. Like, he is amazing. And hearing him talk about his experiences getting his first like big role and working with all these amazing like actors and actresses and it was just so heartwarming the way he talks about some of these people as well was just like it warms your heart and it was just such an insight into his life and like certain things I didn't know because I don't think was particularly public and he shared them with us in this book and it was just a really good read. Next up, we have The Passion of Hades by Eliza, Eliza Rain and Rose Wilson. Um, this was a three star. I was very disappointed in this. Um, I loved the first book. I really liked the idea of, um, of Persephone competing these trials to win Hades' hand in marriage. And that was great. 
and I felt like the pacing in the first book was pretty nicely done considering it's quite a short book um this book was longer but the pacing was so off and it felt like there was a lot of unnecessary stuff in there and it's too slow for all the unnecessary stuff um we're still not through the trials at the end of book two and it just seems like a lot of trials with no real reason for the amount of trials so yeah i'm just i wasn't a fan and i don't actually know if i'm going to continue this also this is supposed to be kindle unlimited smart and it's not there's been no smart in two whole books i'm not okay it was the main reason i started reading these next up we have die volume one fantasy heartbreaker by kira gillen um, and then hans and cows i don't know their first names um this is a sort of like grown-up dark jumanji but with dnd &D. it's very interesting they get sucked into a dnd &D campaign essentially and two years later they come out with one less person and then 25 years later they get sucked back in and it's like a second chance and i'm so intrigued by this i cannot wait for volume two like volume two is already out but i don't own it so i can't just pick it up because i feel like i would just pick it up right now if i could but yeah i just so good i can't remember if i said but it's a four star next we have something is killing the children volume one by james tinian the fourth werthera del Dera, and miguel marito um this was a five star this was so good. So the artwork is incredible. The story is absolutely phenomenal. And that ending will have you needing book two instantly. Like, I am so sad I need to buy Christmas presents and can't buy myself volume two because I need it now. I would literally drop everything to read volume two the moment I get it because I need it. The way, oh, this is like monsters. And I will say the monster looks a bit like a Demogorgon from Stranger Things. And I'm here for it um but it's just it's a really cool like art style as well which i haven't seen and i just really loved the story and i want more from it next we have tokyo ghoul volume one by shui ishida this i did not realize ghouls are essentially zombies and it's like an eye zombie situation it reminds me of eye zombie like the tv show i really enjoyed this like i need volume two of this yes gem i know you're gonna say i told you so because gem has been going on at me and you know what when we was in waterstones a couple of weeks back gem was like you should get volume two and i was like yeah but i haven't read volume one yet okay gem i'm admitting it on the internet you were right i should have got volume two <laughs> and now i can't because i need to get christmas presents um so yeah I really enjoyed this. This was a five star and I cannot wait to continue the series. The artwork is amazing. I need to find like a really good one. Like, it's just so cool. I need more of this in my life. Next up, we have Demon in the Wood by Lee Bardugo and Denny Pendergast. This is like a prequel to the Shadow and Bone series. It follows the Darkling when he is a teenage boy. Uh, I think he's a teenager. I think he might be about 19 in this. Um, and seeing like the series of events that begins his downfall into being a villain that begins his downfall into being a villain um and it was really interesting i love that it's like full color i love that and it was just such a fun quick read and makes you feel for him makes you feel for him i know he's a bad guy but he wasn't at this point and whilst I don't agree with what he does when he gets older, I can see why he starts going on that, that path. Just saying. Once again, I can't remember if I said, but it's a five star. Next up, we have Extraordinary Volume 1 by Victoria Schwab. This is a um, little addition into the um, Villains series. This is supposed to be read between books one and two. And I have read both books so it doesn't really matter but this is set in between both books um i really enjoyed meeting some new characters i'm excited to see where these characters go in this series because these characters aren't in the main series and i'm excited to get more from them because i feel like they're gonna have a really really interesting journey um and i want more from it 
um this was a five star as well <laughs> there's a lot of five stars next up we have barbarian prize by ruby dixon this is the fifth book in the ice planet barbarian series um this is my favorite one so far that i've read i've, re I've now read five of them and this is my favorite um book three was my favorite because i love kira and ahiko but this couple was just so much better and it was a friends to lovers situation which i didn't realize going into it and i'm just like and the way the characters act because of something that has happened in the past was just so perfectly written i really really loved how um the main character's trauma was dealt with because that girl has been through a lot she deserves happiness and i also really love how this one has really set up the next book and i'm so excited for it we're almost through next up is the wedding crasher by mia sosa this was also a five star <laughs> this was amazing this had me like laughing out loud um there's some very 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 spicy scenes like damn, damn. and i just overall loved it i also love how I got this at Yalk. This is not a YA book, but they had a little section of adult contemporary romances at one of the stands. And I'm so glad because I picked this up and I am so glad I did. It was amazing. It's a fake dating situation, which, yeah. And there is also a, um, and there was one bed trope and like sort of false proximity. And I'm just here for it so much. And then finally, finally, finally we have the love hypothesis by ellie hazelwood this is my i've lost count now how many times i've read it but i've read it i read it in november january march may july september november i've read this seven times six of them being this year i have no regrets i love this book so much and i'm going to continue rereading it over and over again because it's my favourite book ever and it owns my heart. If you're new to my channel and you don't know, this is my favourite book. I talk about this in almost every video. I reread it all the time and I will push this on to you because you should read it. Okay, that was quite a quick wrap up. I'm quite happy with how quickly I got through that. 21 books. <laughs> oh... It was a good month overall and i had fun with all of these like most of them <laughs> i also had the best time taking part in west end reads hosted by chloe a persistent bookworm it was such a fun read a lot like readathon and i'm gutted i couldn't complete it it would have been impressive if i had managed to because i would have had to read 31 books to complete it um but i completed 46 of the 60 prompts so do you know what that is a big accomplishment and I've got to still submit them all. <laughs> Wish me luck, but let me know in the comments what your favourite book you read in November was. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye!